guys, Dove here again, bringing you a tutorial. I haven't really done one in a while, but bringing you a tutorial um, on something. I want to cover this first. Thanks for 400. Let's keep that number growing and stay active. Um, I like getting I like getting more than 400 now 400 uh, a video because it shows me that you're active and that you like my videos. But whenever I get like 211 or 230 a week ago, it's not. I don't really feel rewarding because I spend more time, like 20 times more times on these episodes than what I do on this. And I mean, I already have nearly 400 views in two days, which is nice. But other than that, let's cover the tutorial. It's gonna be over like, I'll just show you. You see that? Uh, these little boxes, that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. And I, I like it a lot because it's, it's pretty original. No one really does it much. And it's kind of cool whenever you shoot and there are a bunch of salt. Well, that's what I used, a solid, going off in the background. So let's go get right into this. Um, I already, actually, I'm going to delete that. So I have a clip here. Um, it, at the time, it wasn't really a leftover for me, but because as some of you might have known, I used to play Xbox, but now I don't because I got my parents threw it away along with three of my COD games. So uh, that I'm out like three hundred dollars for that. So I have to save up with editing money to get it back. So let's take a look at our clip. Good job. So that is it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the little explosion color thingy go off, like right here, right here. So what we're gonna do is go to new solid and make it a perfect square. So I'm gonna go, yeah, 1300 by 1300 for me is fine. And I like this color blue, so I'll pick royal blue. And I'll just split it. And then we have this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to transition, CC grid wipe, and just drag it on. And change to about 40. So we have all of this. And what I like to do is I like to drag it down a little to like where the muzzle is. Um, go to positioning, just drag it down. Fuck. No, what the hell? Just drag it down there. And then um, change the tiles. I like to change to 20 because it gives me more tiles. And then you like you see this on the outside, like how it's like starting to bunch up. You can just scale it up to like maybe 110. And then. And you see a bunch of stuff in the middle. I don't really like to have that. I like to have it. I like to have the middle kind of clean and no tiles there. So, what I like to do is I'm going to just mask out something real quick. Square, and then go to your mask and invert it so that we have this and it doesn't look too good because you can easily notice a square but you can feather it up 50 pixels and then expand it 50 I guess so it doesn't really look too squarish and then what we're going to do is right when he shoots click Stopwatch on your 40 completion, go forward nearly a second, and bring it up to 100 so it's all gone. So what we'll have so far is that. But it doesn't really look too cool because it just pops up and it kind of fades away it looks like. So um, what I did in the video was I went to rotation, stopwatch it at zero, go to maybe four seconds, and then made it spin six times so if we take a look at that it has that really cool spinning effect and I like it so um you can also I'm gonna make it glow a little so duplicate it go to fast blur drag it over bring up to five 
you might have seen this from my HUD tutorial. Duplicate that, bring it up to 15. Duplicate that, bring it up to 30. Duplicate that, I'll bring it up to like 50. Now I'll duplicate that one more time, bring it up to 75. And then I'll take all the ones that I duplicated that I have the fast blur on it, and I'll bring the opacity down to like 50. And I guess more. Ah, uh, no. Like 30. 25. That should be fine because it's going relatively quickly. So after you do that, um, just pre compose all of it. Pre compose. So I'll call it grid. And then you can change the mode to like add to make it like that. Screen overlay. I don't really like overlay because I just don't. If anything, I like to put on add and then change the opacity to like 60. And then just put a color correction over it and then it'll look pretty good. So this is the final outcome of the tutorial. Um, it looks pretty cool. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you become active and help me reach 500 because the faster I gain subs, the faster the more views I get, which means either I get a partnership, and then if I get a partnership, that means I can get an Xbox and buy all the equipment I need to keep making tutorials for when I move out. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you learned something about um, this little effect. And if you think of a name, please comment because I don't know what I'm going to use for the title. And if it's a really bad title and you have a better name, I'll just use it. So, that's the tutorial for the day. Um, tutorial number 24. Sorry I haven't brought it out any sooner. But, there it is. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.